This bull was small and timid, not like the rest of the herd who were strong and bold. He often spent his days wandering around the fields, dreaming of a life beyond the farm. One sunny afternoon, while wandering further than usual, the little bull found himself lost. It seemed unfamiliar. The hills were steeper, the fields wider, and the trees taller than anything he had ever seen. The little bull's heart sank as he realized he was far from home. As he meandered through the countryside, the little bull came across a curious creature. It was a shaggy, four-legged animal with a long snout and sharp teeth. The bull tried to run away, but the creature just sat there, staring at him. Who are you? The creature asked in a gruff voice. I am a little bull, the bull replied, still trembling. A bull? I've never seen one of those before, the creature said. What are you doing out here all alone? Quote, I'm lost, the little bull said. I don't know how to get home. Well, don't worry, I'll help you, the creature said. Standing up, my name is Grizzle, and I know these woods like the back of my paw. We'll find your way home together. With Grizzle's help, the little bull started on his journey home. They traveled through dense forests, crossed babbling brooks, and climbed steep hills. Along the way, they met other animals, each with their own unique stories and personalities. There was a chatty squirrel who loved to gossip, a wise old owl who gave them sage advice, and a playful rabbit who always had a joke to tell. Together, they formed an unlikely band of friends, each helping the little bull find his way home. Finally, after many long days of traveling, the little bull and his friends reached the familiar fields of the farm. The little bull was overjoyed to see his family again, and he introduced his new friends to the rest of the animals on the farm. As they all settled into their familiar routines, the little bull realized that he had gained so much more than just a way home. He had found friendship, adventure, and a sense of belonging. And as he looked out at the rolling hills and the emerald fields, he knew that there was no place he would rather be than right here on this magical farm. Surrounded by his beloved friends,